Morning, it's Christian with the Vegetation Engine. In today's video, I will show you how you can optimize uh, the Vegetation Engine shaders using Amplify Shader Editor. If you look at my uh, Amplify graph, it uh, might look a bit scary, but uh, luckily for you, you won't see any of this, but instead, we will work with this uh, base function where you can enable and disable uh, a lot of features. So let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm using the major renderer uh, demo scene with the included grass and shader. Uh, I set my game view to 5K, so we have a lot of uh, pixels to shade. And as you can see, uh, the FPS uh, is around 48. Now, if I go and convert uh, this prefab to the vegetation engine and uh, press play again, as you can see, the FPS uh, drops from 48 to uh, 37. So why is that? Uh, by default, the vegetation engine shaders uh, have a lot of uh, features enabled by default. So let's see how we can optimize this shader uh, to reach uh, a higher FPS. First of all, uh, let's select the grass shader. The easiest way to do it is to go to the material and uh, select shader. And uh, instead of optimizing uh, this included shader, I will create a duplicate because uh, if I modify this shader on uh, asset update, this shader will be overridden. So I will just uh, duplicate it move it uh, to a new folder I create this uh, folder called uh, the vegetation engine extras I will move it there and uh, rename this shader to uh, grass subsurface uh, lit opt from optimized uh, if I open the shader I need to uh, change the internal name to uh, grass of surface lit, uh, let's say opt again and compile this shader. Now, if I uh, uh, select the material and uh, change the shader to the newly created optimized shader, which is not yet optimized, uh, the grass. Uh, disappears. That's because I'm using Nature Renderer and uh, uh, with Nature Renderer you need to add support to the shaders. Uh, so to fix it, I go to Window, Boxophobic, the Vegetation Engine, Shader Settings and uh, I can see the, the new shader uh, here. It's using uh, Unity's default renderer and I just need to change it to uh, Nature Renderer and install. Uh, starting from uh, version uh, 4.5, you only need to set, to set uh, this once. Uh, and the shader post-processor uh, will assign the renderer uh, automatically if you update the, as the asset or if you recompile the shader. So now if I uh, hit play, I can see that uh, the grass is back again uh, using the new shader. Okay, let's say uh, for this project, uh, I only want the grass shading and the wind animation, and I won't be using any of the uh, global uh, settings, the vertex occlusion settings, the gradient and noise settings, the emissive texture, perspective, and uh, size fade. So if we go to the amplify shader and select the base function, we can disable uh, all these global settings from here and I will go and uh, disable the overlay, the wetness, the emissive, the global alpha and the global size. Uh, I will disable the vertex occlusion for the uh, gradient and the noise I will set them to off and the size fade mode to off and the perspective correction to off. Uh, okay, as you can see on the 
material, uh, the normal map and the mask map are not used. So we can just unlink the normal port, the occlusion port and the emissive port because uh, the emissive texture is not used as, as well. And for the smoothness, uh, instead of uh, disabling the smoothness, I will just set the output smoothness uh, instead of standard to slider. So instead of using the texture, it will uh, just use a, a simple slider. Uh, since you are not using any uh, motion interaction, I will set it to off as well. And uh, for the motion elements, we are not using any motion elements, so I will disable it. Uh, I will disable the low switch by face. Uh, this is a more advanced setting, same as the screen noise uh, 3D. I will disable them. They are explained in the documentation in greater detail. And I will just compile the shader. Okay, and now if I go to the game view and hit play, now uh, we reach a better FPS, but uh, I noticed that you need to uh, restart Unity in order to, to uh, get uh, a better FPS. I am not sure why. So I will uh, restart and enter play mode again. So I'm back in Unity, now if I press play, as you can see, the FPS increased from uh, 37 to uh, 45. Now there are some aspects that uh, could be optimized even more. Uh, for instance, the diffusion profile. Uh, this is an expensive effect and for this class is not really needed. Uh, maybe the motion highlight and so on. Uh, you can still you can see that the FPS uh, is still pretty small, but uh, keep in mind that I'm using a uh, 5K uh, display. If I set it to something more realistic like uh, Full HD, the FPS increases a lot. Last thing I want to show you today is uh, how you can apply this shader to any conversion. Um, when using the prefab converter uh, or after the conversion uh, in an automatic way because setting the shader for each new conversion by hand can be tedious. So if you go to the uh, core uh, folder uh, set uh, overrides, you can see that there are some overrides uh, for the shaders to output the materials with uh, subsurface lit shaders. I will just duplicate this preset, uh, copy it to the extras folder, and rename it to uh, output materials with uh, subsurface lit opt shaders. And uh, uh, all these presets are text uh, files, so you can open them with uh, Notepad or any uh, text-based uh, editor. And if I open it, uh, you can see that the default grass is set to, to this shader. So I will just uh, replace my uh, uh, the default shader with the optimized shader and save it. And now, if I go to the prefab converter, select the grass, and uh, revert it, uh, when I when I convert it uh, back to the vegetation engine, as an override, I can choose shaders. Ah, yeah, I need to uh, reopen the converter. Uh, choose the preset again. And now, uh, under the overrides, I can see that I have these uh, output materials with uh, subsurface lit optimized shaders. 
and uh, I can set this override uh, to be a global override. So if I close and reopen the converter, when I choose the uh, preset again, the override uh, will be there. So now if I convert, uh, you can see that the grass subsurface lit optimized preset is applied. Uh, if I convert it simply, the grass subsurface lit, the default shader is applied. Now this can be done uh, on conversion or by using the material settings window. Uh, I can create, uh, for this tool, I can create a preset to apply uh, to apply that shader. So let's do it. I, uh, uh, if you go to the uh, presets uh, settings folder, uh, we have uh, these presets called shader switch to subsurface lead shaders. I will duplicate this one copy it to the extras folder and rename it to switch to subsurface opt shaders and now if i open it uh, we have this option here if the shader name contains grass switch this uh, shader to uh, grass subsurface lit opt and save it and uh, now if i uh, open the material settings window uh, under the material presets i can choose shaders switch to subsurface lit optimized shaders and uh, once selected uh, it is applied uh, automatically and as you can see now the uh, subsurface lit optimized is used so that's it for today. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy uh, enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.